exactly what they want you to do. So in this case, I'm going to use the sum and difference formula. So I feel like I have them memorized already, Marty. So I'm just going to write them down, whereas here are my two angles, u and v. Now they are different, u and v. Like you could have different u's and v's for each function, OK? In this case, they're exactly the same. So I'm going to have sine of x, cosine of pi over 3, um, plus cosine of x, sine of pi over 3, plus, yep, like these u's and v's are the same. No, no, no. Remember I told you, the positive and the negatives only tell you which formula to use. OK? Don't get that confused. Um, then you'd do, I'd do, well, like if this was y, then I'd use y here. OK? Because you've got to think here, I'm doing, now I'm doing, uh, well, I'll explain here in a second. So sine of x, um, this is now cosine of pi over 3. That's a minus, so it's minus. Cosine of x, sine of pi over 3. So what I want you guys to understand or see what I did is I basically did the sum of Huh? Some of them do. So all I did was I did the sum and difference. I, all I did was do the sum and difference formula twice. Does everybody see that? I just did it twice. And what I'm saying, Caitlin, or, I don't know why I called you Caitlin. I'm calling you KC. I'm calling you Caitlin. I'm just all over the board. Yeah, it's like, it's like I didn't even, never had you before as a student. Yeah. Um, so if you, but if this was two different values, angles, then yeah, this one would be different, OK? So, um, but what you notice is what um, Haley was saying is these terms one, are exactly the same, but one's positive and one's negative. So yeah, they add to 0. And guys, what's x plus x? Close. x plus x is 2x. x times x is x squared. So what do you think sine x plus cosine pi over 3 plus sine x cosine of pi over 3 is going to equal? 2 sine x cosine. It sounds, doesn't sound right. It sounds like confusing. But if you have two of the same quantity, then yeah, you just combine them. And get, or if you have two of them, you just combine them to equal 1. Just say you have two of them. Well, I have cosine of pi over 3. Can I evaluate for the cosine of pi over 3? Knowing my unit circle, pi over 3, that's the same thing as 60 degrees. Cosine is equal to 1 half. So I have 2 sine of x times 1 half. I could rewrite this, or hopefully you guys just understand that 2 times 1 half is going to equal 1. Sine of x is equal to 1. And ladies and gentlemen, on, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. This is to find all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So for what angles is x equal to 1 for sine? Which angle is it, guys? 90 degrees or pi over 2. I'm done.